morning. Well, more like afternoon. It's like one o'clock. I figured I'd just kind of do an update video on you got for you guys. Um, we, I really don't have anything really going on at the farm and it's been in the 40s and raining for the last well week basically and everything's just been wet the last time we rode was christmas day and we are this is the 29th friday um so it's just been a nasty nasty weather like it's been foggy and misting for two days uh it's been kind of raining on and off and everything is just wet i haven't been able to get into the fields to do any more tree trimming because everything's muddy and wet um and it's just been nasty out and i haven't really been doing a whole lot other than just twiddling my thumbs kind of cleaning a few things up and that's about it we did however find planters or a set of planters that we're going to buy um, in fact I just got off the phone with them a little bit ago and told them to write up the sales agreement um, we are trading our planters or our drills in for the new planter um, they were a little bit on the low side of what we were wanting for them but they were still within reason. They were like within $3,000 of our low, low ball mark. Um, and we kind of discussed it and chit chatted around about it. And I know we could get more money for them if we sold them outright, but um, like when we bought the combine we have now, we sat on our combine, our old combine, for almost a year before the thing ended up selling. And we ended up dropping the price and dropping the price and dropping the price until it sold and we don't want to tie up that kind of money and sit on those planters for possibly a year before they sell um, so we figured we're within three thousand dollars it's not worth you know sitting on them for a year possibly a year for $3,000. So we went ahead and traded our drills in on the new planter. Um, and right now we're trying to figure out trucking. Um, because the planters are 100 and 167 miles, 166 miles, something like that away from us, one way, because we're buying them down in Ohio. Um, we're trying to figure out what it's gonna cost to truck our trade in down and truck the new planters back or they bring the planters to us and take our trade in with them um, we're discussing trucking options right now um, we have a dollar figure in mind that we feel is a fair price for trucking but if it is like way above that then option two is I physically drive a tractor 166 miles down there and back I really don't want to do that because it's going to take me about eight hours to drive the tractor down there pulling our drills down there to trade them in to hook up to the new planters and bring the plant new planters back in a tractor I'm not a fan of that idea but we'll see so you might get a video of me driving a tractor to Ohio which it's not unheard of for people to do that kind of stuff, but it's rare. Um, so we're gonna we're we're still weighing our trucking options or shipping options right now. Um, so we'll see on that. I should hear back. I'm hoping yet today on the trucking option, um, but it might not be till Tuesday because of the Mondays. New Year's Day but we'll see I will say though if I end up driving down there in a tractor that will be the farthest I've ever driven a tractor 
Uh, I think the farthest I driven a tractor is like 50 miles. Um, we bought a tractor way up in the thumb of Michigan and I think it was like 50 miles, 50 or 60 miles from the farm and we just drove it home. Um, so this will be by far the longest trip I've ever taken with a tractor. I really don't want to do it because of what it ended up doing is I would leave early in the morning, drive down there, get a hotel room, spend the night, and then in the morning go to the dealership, unhook my our drills, hook up to the new planter, and then turn around and drive home. And hopefully be home before dark, you know, because it, it's the only, it's the shortest days of the year right now. You know, I might be old fashioned here, but I was just at Home Depot, in fact, I'm leaving right now from Home Depot, and why is it people do 30 miles an hour through the parking lot? It's a parking lot. There's no need to be speeding through the parking lot. I just saw like two or three cars doing 30, 35 miles an hour through the parking lot. It's just ridiculous. I guess I'm just old fashioned that way. That's kind of like a pet peeve of mine because I see people going through Walmart parking lots and Meyer parking lot and into the gas station and they just seem like they're traveling at an excessive amount of speed for being a parking lot with pedestrians walking around. I don't know, maybe it's just me. All right guys, I guess I'm gonna end the video here. Um, is like I said, there's really not a lot going on and this is our slow time of year right now. So until the ground freezes, I can't go out and you know trim trees, I can't do anything until the ground freezes. So, um, I'm gonna go home and work on a motorcycle. Um, I might do another video on that. And uh, in case I don't talk to you, I wanna wish you guys a happy new year. Thanks for watching.